Now let me ask you this. At Halloween, do you dress up your children in masks and costumes of ghost goblins, witches, or little devils? If so, I'd like you to listen to this information from our two guests. Why do people wear masks on Halloween, on October 31st? Why do they wear the masks that they do on that particular day? I think there are a number of reasons in history, in the development, that would help us to understand this. First of all, uh, there were those witches, those people, who were perhaps going to a meeting, a coven. And uh, so not to be recognized by the villagers, they would don a mask to disguise themselves, to keep their identity secretive. A second reason might be the idea of uh, disguising themselves from the evil spirits, so that the evil spirits who were looking for a particular person couldn't find them. The reason they couldn't find them is because they, they couldn't identify them with the mask on. A third reason uh, might be the factor of wearing the masks, and sometimes they would celebrate around the fire and dance, and, and then what would happen is these people would wander off out of town hoping that the spirits would follow them out of town because they wore masks that were similar to the spirits, ghosts and things like that. And the fourth reason is they would wear animal masks at times because they wanted to acquire the characteristics, the power of that animal. That seems to me today the reasons that we continue to wear them. The masks that we wear really grow out of imitating the types of beings and entities that you have. And so you have ghosts and things like that. I think if we understand what Halloween really means historically and what it really means today in the world of the occult, we have to ask ourselves how does God view Christians participating in Halloween? As God looks down and sees Christian children out dressed in costumes, whether they're costumes of the occult or not, what does he think when he knows the true reality of this day and actually what's going on in this day in the world of the occult? Is this something that honors him and pleases him when he has told us so strongly in his word not to imitate the evil things that the pagans do and to avoid all semblance of evil? I think that a question like this should be answered uh, by every parent before they allow their children uh, to go trick-or-treating.